Tim Walsh here, Stanwood B Company. Today I'm here to talk to you about queen replacements. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed on all of the bee forums is that backyard beekeepers are most concerned about having a queen in the hive. And what I'm here to tell you today is that it, it's there's a lot more to it than just having a queen in the hive. Right now, we're at the end of the summer, it's August, and people are thinking about getting their hives ready for the winter. And the number one question that I've had asked to me is, how do I get my bees to overwinter? One of the things that you need to be looking at right now is what your brood frames look like. Many times throughout the years, the queens are replaced with inferior queens with a silent changeover. And your brood frames will show the story. So all you need to do is go into your hives and you should feel a vigor in your hive. Your bees should be doing something right now. And that's preparing for the winter. If your bees don't have the vigor, then they're probably not gonna make it through the winter. If you look at your brood frames and you see a shotgun brood pattern, your bees are probably not going to make it through the winter. If you see a small brood pattern, your bees are probably not going to make it through the winter. So you need to see a large brood pattern, busy bees collecting honey, even, even in the dearth, and preparing for the winter shutdown. And you should see brood frames, four to five frames of brood that are capped brim full of bees with a rainbow of honey surrounding them. And so today I'm going to show you, this is a five frame nuke on May 1st. I made a five frame nuke and I put one of my Lamborghini of queens in that box as a queen cell. Uh, I've done previous videos on how I make my queens. This video is going to be a follow-up to show you what it looks like inside that nuke. And it's today is, is August 17th, so it's only been 17 days. In that time, she's hatched out of her cell, she's flying out, fl flown out, and mated. And I put five frames of comb on the top so that, that she could lay in it because she already filled the bottom box. I put this I put this second box on top about a week, a week and a half ago, around 8, 10. So it's been here for about a week or so. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. It's brim full of bees. Now this was a five frame nuke on 8.1. It's now a 10 frame nuke on 8.17. And I'm just gonna go through a few frames in the top box so you guys can see what it should look like. This is the vigor that I'm talking about. These particular bees are Saskatraz. I sell Cordovan Italians with purple thoraxes, black carnolians, angry ankle biters, and my Saskatraz. The ankle biters and the Saskatraz, they're a little bit more aggressive bees and they're ultra hygienic. So they're anti-mite, they're mite resistant. If you don't have those two varieties, then you need to be treating for mites. I'm gonna show you what this, this queen that hatched out on 8-1, what it can do in 17 days. This top box was comb. Just built out comb. They filled the outer frames with honey. This frame is eggs and larvae. The next frame is brood. These holes here that you see, they're actually larvae in those holes. 
when I gave him this comb, it had random things in there. So it might have had uh, pollen in those random holes. Just absolutely beautiful. She started laying around August 10th. This comb that I put on the top here, here she is right here actually. This is the Saskatchewan Queen. The Saskatchewan are a little bit smaller queens. They look kind of like a carnelian, orange and brown. Right here. So she's laid out this both sides of all these upper frames. Three frames on the top. This frame here is full of honey. On the inside. The lower level has two frames of brood. That means that she went and laid five frames of bees, five frames of eggs, in less than a, in, a, in about a week. The second box, I'm not going to go through it, but I just wanted you to see what it looks like. So, so if you have a hive and it lacks its vigor, I would recommend a new queen. Right now is the best time to mate queens. It's the end of the summer. All of my queens are mating in less than a week and they're laying brood patterns that look like this. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thank you very much. Have a great day.